Hello and a very warm welcome to Seoul for finals day at the Victor Korea Open. This is the 26th staging of this event and the 11th consecutive year has been part of the Super Series, the elite tier of tournaments in the sport of badminton. 12 tournaments that span the globe and this is the seventh event on the MetLife BWF World Super Series. Not only the 12 tournaments, but also the end of year finale, the Super Series finals. And it's only the top eight players and pairs in each of the five disciplines who will qualify for those end of season championships. And the destination, once again, is Dubai. Well, finals day, as I say, in all five finals for you this afternoon. And we're starting with mixed doubles and Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto in their second consecutive Super Series tournament final, having been in the final in Australia. They're up against Wang Ilu and Huang Dongping in their first ever Super Series tournament final as a pair. Then it's women's doubles and Wang Yaxiong and Yu Xiao Han are up against the beaten finalists from two years ago. Chang Ye Na and Li So He, the only home player contesting a final today. After that, it's men's singles and only the second ever Super Series men's singles final to feature two players from Indonesia. Nine years after the last time that happened, which in fact was at the Indonesian Open. Here we have Anthony Ginting in his first ever international tournament final up against Jonathan Christie, who could make history by becoming the youngest ever winner of a Super Series men's singles title. After that, it's women's singles and it's a repeat of the World Championship final. Pusala Venkata Sindhu, the Olympic silver medalist, is up against Nozomi Okuhara, who's not only the Olympic bronze medalist, she is now the world champion. Then we finish uh, with men's doubles and the two-time former champions, Matthias Bo and Karsten Morgensen, in their fifth final here at the Korean Open, are up against Gideon and Sukamolio of Indonesia, who are trying to win a fourth Super Series title this year. Well, with mixed doubles being our first final of the day, a chance for us to look at the Super Series standings at the moment. And after this week in Seoul, I can tell you that the top three places will remain exactly as they are. But Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto, whether they win or lose today's final, will shoot up three places to number four on those Super Series standings. Well, as far as the draw in the mixed doubles here is concerned, six different nations involved by quarterfinal stage, but only one seed in combination. The number four seeds, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto. It, the semi-final opponents, Seidel and Effler, well, mention should be made of them because they were the first ever German mixed doubles pair into a semi-final of the mixed doubles discipline here. So the opponents for Jordan and Susanto in today's final unseeded combination of Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping. So it's a day when history could be made, uh, not only in the men's singles, because both players unseeded, both uh, players looking to win a first ever Super Series title. But it is mathematically possible that all five titles here could go to players from five different nations. That's only happened 11 times in the history of the Super Series, and here we are in the 11th year of the Super Series. So were that to happen today, it would be a rarity. So the mixed doubles final, the number four seeds, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto up against the unseeded pair of Wang Lu and Huang Dongping. Jakob Sinberg of Denmark is our umpire for this first final. And with the two pairs in the final from China and Indonesia, it means for a seventh consecutive time this year. This is obviously the seventh Super Series of the year. It will be either a pair from China or from Indonesia that wins the mixed doubles discipline. Debbie Susanto is 28 years of age, born in Palembang in South Sumatra. She and her partner have been as high as two one week in October last year. Currently number seven in the world ranking and only making their second appearance here at the Korean Open as a mixed doubles combination. Praveen Jordan 
is 24 years of age, uh, born in Montang in East Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. Now, as we saw, they were number seven on the Super Series standings and, and seven, number seven on the world rankings as well. This is their fifth Super Series tournament final and the second consecutive this year because they lost in the final of Australia to Shen Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng. And it was their semi-final opponents promoted from the qualifying who replaced that pair from China who beat them in the final in Sydney. There you can see their only three-game match was the very first round against Pranav Jerry Chopra and the left-handed Siki Reddy. So to their opponents and Wang Ilu, 22 years of age and he and his partner enjoying their third week at a career high of 13 in the world ranking. They're only 18 on the Super Series standings, uh, but that's because they've only played two Super Series tournaments so far this year. Huang Dongping, she's also 22 from Meishan in Nanan City in Fujian province. And she's making her first appearance here at the Korean Open. Her partner was a semi-finalist in the men's doubles last year with uh, Huang kai -Sian. They've been full, pushed the full distance once. That was in the quarter-final against the qualifiers Kaniko and Yonimoto. In fact, saved four match points in that second game. Thrilling second game, 27-25 and a tight third game as well. So this will be the second meeting between these two pairs. The only previous time they've met was in the quarter-final of those Asian Championships in Wuhan earlier this year. 52 minutes for that two-game victory for Huang Lu and Huang Dongping. And as I was telling you, our umpire for this is Jakob Simberg from Denmark and our service judge, Kansen Young. So the Chinese pair trying to become first time winners as a pair of a Super Series Mixed Doubles title. In fact, last year we had three pairs become first time winners of Super Series titles, including their opponents, this pair who won their first title at last year's All England. And then in India, we had Liu Kai and Wang Yashiong win their first Super Series title. And then in Japan, Shang Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng. And remarkably, since winning their first titles last year, those three pairs, they've won 11 of the next 19 Super Series titles. That's extraordinary, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Javi Jordan, Debbie Susanto, Indonesia. And on my left, Wang Yili, Wang Dongping, China. Wang Dongping to third, to Javi Jordan, Lobo, Clay. So the first of our finals get underway. Two, 
Well, you have to go back 11 years since the last time that a pair from Indonesia won the Korean Open mixed doubles title. And that, of course, was before the Super Series. 2006, Nova Widianto and Liliana Garcia won the title here in Seoul. So the first challenge of this final called in. Indeed it was. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Six, one. Play. Idea on execution. There was a big gap. Four, seven. Play from Debbie Susanto. Nine, four. Well, 
reads this game so well at the front of the court. Super Series finals in the women's doubles discipline with Lee Hyun Wei. Lost the most. And it is the number four seeds from Indonesia who have a four point advantage here at the mid game interval of the opening game. it away. Having been five points 11, adrift at the start 12. of this final, now well, just one point in it. Oh. 
12, all. He's a powerful player, is Pradeen Jordan. Thunders down those smashes. Seeded pair win the mixed doubles title here at the Korean Open for nine years since Lee Young Day and Lee Ho Jung won in 2008. Of course, in 2008 they went on to become Olympic champions. Extraordinary to think they weren't seeded when they played their home event. And as far as Super Series is concerned, if you don't 14, include the 13. Super Series finals, but of the regular 12 tournaments, the last unseeded mixed doubles pair to win a title was Chris and Gabby Adcock four years ago in Hong Kong. Ah, that's good pressure from Praveen Jordan. 15, 13. So that's a service 14, error 15. apiece from the two Indonesian players. Oh. Well, what was it? Well, that was called in. There's got to be a Are challenge here, my goodness me. Well, I know I'm sitting a long way away, but that looked drastically short. How on earth was that called in? I'm very surprised that the umpire didn't overrule that call as well. Umpires now, when Hawkeye is in operation. Oh, well, challenge find that very difficult to believe. One challenge remaining. 15, all, play. First time. 16, 15. Oh, the unseeded Chinese combination have been in the lead. Good serve. Just change the direction 16. instead of serving to the tee. Towards the right shoulder. Yeah, clever. Yeah, it really is a very, very good smash indeed. 
Once again, serving out wider. This time, Huang Yi Lu was 19, alert to it. 16. And still couldn't gain any advantage. Look at that beautiful drop shot to end the rally. Oh, that's a super return of serve. Seventeen, nineteen. Oh. Oh. One oh. out. It was called out. This is the third challenge in this opening game on the low serve. Well, I found the last decision by Hawkeye a little strange. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenge remaining. Oh, a Chinese pair. We've got no challenges Sun left. And it's game point. Game point. Opportunities here, three of them for Jordan and Susanto. Behind the back game. saves the rally and the opening game to the number four seeds, Praveen Jordan game, and Debbie Susanto. 21-17. Look at that. One Dong Ping and Wang Yi Lu weren't expecting it to come back. Well, it came back, it did, and it came back with interest. Opening game 21 17 in 19 minutes. It's the first ever Super Series tournament seconds. final for Wang Yi Lu. Twenty seconds. And a third for his partner, but a first in the mixed doubles discipline. Second game. Love all. So it's the more experienced Wait. pair, Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto, winners of the All England Championships last year. One game to the good in this final. Love. Good return. Standing between the two Indonesian players. 
to Lunt. Good rotational play when needed. service error third in total by the Indonesian players oh it's going in oh off he goes for a new racket now he's back on I can't believe it Extraordinary rally! Praveen Jordan was convinced the lift was going to go wide. There's a huge drift in this arena and it was coming way back into court. The indecision. And then his part, his opponent, look, he's got a broken racket, the whole frame has disintegrated. Comes back onto court, plays on the rally. Oh, that's extraordinary. something special Four, in the return of serve one. because unless she does unless it's deceptive Debbie Susanto will be pouncing on it because she's so alert at the net Susanto yeah and even her partner Wang Yi Lu is feeling he's got to do something special playing it away from Susanto at the net five he seemed to get in a bit of a muddle there. What on earth was he trying to do? All service fault call. Racket not pointing in a downward direction, says the service judge. Two, five. Oh, wouldn't mind seeing that again. Here we go. Oh, well. Couldn't really see. rally Six, two. longest rally of the match as well 42 shots Pace of shot, it was angle of shot. Seven Look where this three. shuttle lands. That's amazing.
And the Chinese youngsters just do not know how to break Eight, down the defence of the Indonesians. They're desperately trying in the early stages of that rally to get on the attack and put pressure on the former All England champions. And they can't find a way through. deep into his forehand corner. That was the one that really did the damage. Well, we've seen a number of mishits or Six. completely missed shots Nine. this week because the drift is just so bad. Shuttle moves in the air from its Ready? normal true line of flight. Deficit. Costly. Nine. Oh. Yes. Right the ball, please. Yes. Right the ball. Six of the last seven points going to the Chinese youngsters.
Oh, what a smash again. Power, angle, and perfect placement. Huang Dongping waited, committed to her forehand defence. Yeah, hits it down her backhand side. That's great awareness as well from Praveen Jordan. actually skimmed the net it was so good so a two-point advantage in the game interval for this Indonesian pair here in force because they're contesting three of the five finals today. Eleven, nine, play. Yeah, all set up with that excellent low serve once again 12, from Praveen Jordan. Nine. Fires it up with a service error. 10, 12. It's four points they've gifted away with service errors. A fifth with a service fault. Indonesian pair. top of the table Eleven. and just trickled over. Look at that. Amazing. That is good placement of the smash. Well played from Wang Yi Lu. 12-15. Yeah, aiming towards that right hip. She's committed to the backhand defence. the big difference between these two pairs 16, is when the Indonesians well. get on the attack they manage to finish the rally within two or three shots whereas the Chinese pair 
even when they're attacking, they struggle to break down the defence of the Indonesians. Should have done more with the return of serve. Awfully easy to say sitting up here, but in these finals, it's errors like that that do tend to be very costly. Yeah, that's nice. as far as this unseeded Chinese combination are concerned. They've got to start closing down this gap. Yep. 14, now, mind book, that 17. was a forced error from Praveen Jordan because of the quality of the drive from Wang Yi Lu. Stepped in, took it early. So well, Jordan and Susanto. Look at that, that was a delightful shot from Debbie Susanto. Forces the short lift. And there's no way you can afford to lift short to Paravin Jordan. Oh dear me. That's his third service 15, error. 18. Oh, he's handed the Chinese youngsters a lifeline. going on now she's gone off to change her racket well the Indonesians doing awfully well to keep their concentration and composure my goodness there was a swap of rackets there and to give her a good racket to Wang Yi Lu then she was hesitant about dashing off court to pick up a new racket it was extraordinary Well, there was no question it was in. What on earth was going on? Who on earth made the challenge? Here we go. There's the change of rackets. She doesn't know whether to go off or not. Finally goes off, grabs a new racket. Well, that is bizarre. Who on, who on earth made the challenge? There's no question it was in. Return of serve. 
brings up match point opportunities. Four match points for the number four seeds. And four opportunities to secure a second Super Series title. points have come and gone, but another two remain. So 21-17, 21-18. Winners of the Korean Open, their second Super Series title to add to the All England title that they won last year. Today in their fifth final at Super Series Match level and a second title. So for Huang Dong Ping, a third Super Series tournament final, a third loss for her. But in all honesty, the Indonesians were a better pair today. Susanto has always commanded the front of the court and Praveen Jordan's power and precision on his attacking play was simply too good for the Chinese youngsters. So their confirmation of the score, 21-17, 21-18 in a match lasting 45 minutes. Well, the Indonesian fans celebrate contesting three finals today and of course with the Indonesian pair winning the mixed doubles it's no longer possible for the five titles to go to players or pairs from five different nations uh, because the men's singles is all Indonesia so it's a guaranteed an Indonesian player winning the men's singles So to the prize presentation for the mixed doubles.
Well, they may have been beaten in today's final, but this week in Seoul has been a huge step forward for this young pair from China. Their first ever Super Series tournament final as a combination. And that's on the back of reaching their first ever semi-final at the last Super Series event, which of course was in Sydney at the Australian Open. Well, it's been an 18 month wait since their last title. And their last title prior to this was also a Super Series. It was the All England Championships last year. Now here in Seoul, a second Super Series title. A fourth title together throughout their careers. Gold medalists, of course, at the Southeast Asian Games in 2015. And last year, also winners of the Said Modi Grand Prix Gold event. But this is the best of the best. The Super Series, the elite tier of tournaments in the sport of badminton. And a second Super Series title for Jordan and Suzanto. And the first time that the mixed doubles title here at the Korean Open since the inception of the Super Series has gone to players from Indonesia.
also no longer mathematically possible for all five uh, titles to go to players from five different nations because we have an all Indonesian men's singles uh, final and of course with an Indonesian pair winning the mixed doubles Indonesia guaranteed at least two of the three finals they're contesting. Well, next up is the only home players' involvement. Chang Ye Na and Lee So He beaten finalists from two years ago. They're up against Wang Ya Xiong and Yu Xiao Han. Well, women's double Super Series standings at the moment, I can tell you that there won't be a lot of changes after this week in Seoul. The top six will definitely stay as they are because, of course, the pair in the final, Chang Ye Na and Lee So He, are already number one on that ranking. Seven of the top eight pairs on that list have been in a Super Series uh, final this year. The only exceptions are the number six, Jiang Kyung Ng and Shin Sung Chan, who, of course,